Hello and welcome to this tutorial on setting up a test case in OpenFOAM. In this tutorial, we will learn to set up a case in OpenFOAM, access the case files using terminal, pre-process a case, run a case, and post-process a case. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04, OpenFOAM version 7, Paraview version 5.6.0, and gedit text editor. You may use any other text editor of your choice. As a prerequisite, you should be familiar with basic Linux commands. If not, Please go through the prerequisite Linux tutorials on this website. In this tutorial, we will learn to set up the lid-driven cavity case. Lid-driven cavity is one of the most widely used 2D test cases for the validation of a CFD code. This is the diagram of lid-driven cavity flow. It consists of three fixed walls and a moving top wall. Open a terminal by pressing the Ctrl, Alt and T keys together. Here onwards, please remember to press the Enter key after typing each command. Now, let's create a run directory. To do so, type the command as shown. Tutorial cases will later be copied into the run directory. Go to the run directory using the cd command. Now, our present working directory is the run directory. OpenFOAM installation comes with a set of test cases. The tutorials directory contains these test cases. The lid driven cavity case already exists inside the tutorials directory. We'll now copy the lid driven cavity case from the tutorials directory into the run directory. To do so, type the following command. The mesh generator for OpenFOAM is a utility called Block Mesh. The input dictionary for Block Mesh utility is Block Mesh Dict. The Block Mesh Dict file is located in the system folder. Open the block mesh dict file in a text editor. Now let's look at the contents of the file. The block mesh dict contains details of the geometry like vertices, blocks, edges, and boundaries. Close the block mesh dict file. The zero folder contains the initial and boundary conditions for the Simulation. Type the following command to move into the zero folder inside the cavity case directory. Type ls and press enter to view the files in the zero folder. The zero folder contains the kinematic pressure file p and the velocity file u. Open the kinematic pressure file p in a text editor. The P file contains the initial and boundary conditions of kinematic pressure. The dimensions of kinematic pressure is meter squared per second squared. The internal field defines the values in the interior of the domain. The initial field is set as zero kinematic pressure. This field is uniform across the domain. You can see that all walls are imposed with a zero gradient pressure boundary condition. Let us close the P file. Now open the velocity file U in a text editor. The U file contains the initial and boundary conditions of velocity. You can see that the moving wall is imposed with a velocity of 1 meter per second in the x direction. Also notice that the no slip condition is imposed on the three fixed walls. Now let us close the U file. 
We'll go back to the cavity folder. Type cd space dot dot. Next, we will view the transport properties file, which is in the constant folder. The transport properties file contains the details of kinematic viscosity. The dimensions of kinematic viscosity is meter squared per second. The kinematic viscosity is defined by nu equals magnitude of u times d by re, where velocity is 1 meter per second, characteristic length is 0 0.1 meters. The Reynolds number RE for the flow is taken as 10. The kinematic viscosity is therefore 0 0.01 meter squared per second. Now let me switch back to the transport properties file. The value of kinematic viscosity is indicated in the transport properties file. Close the transport properties file. To move into the system folder, Type the following command. Type ls to view the contents of the system folder. The system folder contains the following files. Block mesh dict, control dict, fv schemes and fv solution. The fv schemes dictionary contains the finite volume discretization schemes. The fv solution dictionary contains the linear equation solvers and tolerances. It contains other algorithm controls as well. The control dict dictionary contains the simulation control parameters. The dictionary input includes the control of time and reading and writing of the solution data. Let's open the control dict file in a text editor. The start and stop times and the time step for the run must be set. The start time is set at 0 seconds. The time at which the simulation stops is specified using the keyword stop at. Here, stop at is specified using the keyword end time. The end time is set at 0 0.5 seconds. This means that simulation stops after 0 0.5 seconds. The value of the keyword delta t defines the time step for the simulation. The time step for the current simulation is set as 0 0.005 seconds. Temporal accuracy and numerical stability is essential while running the simulation. To achieve this, a current number of less than 1 is required. Keeping this in mind, the time step is set to 0 0.005 seconds. Please refer to the additional reading material on this tutorial page for detail. It mentions the steps used to calculate the time step. IcoFoam is the open foam solver used to simulate the lid driven cavity flow. Close the control dict file. Go back to the cavity folder using cd command. Type the command block mesh and press enter to mesh the geometry. The command takes input from the block mesh dict dictionary and creates the geometry and meshes it. The meshing is now complete. The lid driven cavity flow is an incompressible flow. It is solved using the open foam solver IcoFoam. To start the simulation, type IcoFoam in the terminal. The iterations are now complete. Let us view the simulated results in ParaView. So type ParaFoam in the terminal. In the ParaView window, go to the Properties tab on the left. Then click on the green colored Apply button. Go to the Active Variable Controls at the top. Click on the VTK block colors drop down and select U. Ensure that you click on the U option with a point icon and not the box icon in the drop down. 
The box icon would display contours without any grading. The velocity contour at the start of the simulation is now displayed in the layout. Let us see how the velocity contours develop through the simulation. To do so, go to the VCR controls and click on the play button. The velocity contour at the end of the simulation is now displayed in the layout. Close the Paraview window. With this, we have come to the end of the tutorial. To summarize, in this tutorial, we have learned to set up a case in OpenFOAM, access the case files using terminal, pre-process a case, run a case, and post-process a case. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using Spoken Tutorials and give certificates. Please contact us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions? Please visit the forum given in the link. The FOSSI team coordinates solving feasible CFT problems of reasonable complexity using OpenFOAM. We give honorarium and certificates to those who do this. For more details, please visit these sites. The Spoken Tutorial Project is supported by MHRD Government of India. The script for this tutorial is contributed by Ashley Melvin. And this is Sweta Sridhar from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.